All right, guys. Uh, so I'm back with another video. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to how to combine the different parts of the metahuman so that you can rig it in programs like Cascader and animate it all together. So anyway, let's get started. I did make a, a version of this where I actually removed the facial bones, but because the facial bones hold all the weights and there's like several hundred of them, uh, I, I just re-weighted the head myself. Um, so there there is issues around the neck, but anyway, my only purpose in doing this would be to and uh, make the animation so that doesn't really bother me. Uh, if y'all are interested in uh, knowing how to remove the facial bones and uh, weight the head, let me know and I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, this one, I just want to make it real quick and we're going to do this in Maya. So first, you'll want to export the separate pieces, the head and the body or the, or the hands and the arms or whatever uh, on yours. So if you have more than just two, uh, which you probably do with the other metahuman characters, then just uh, export each of them as an FBX right here. And uh, you don't have to export the preview mesh. That's not actually necessary. You can export it with the default settings. After you've exported it, we'll go and open up Maya and you'll just do a new project. And I wish things would stop popping up over there. Uh, so after you've done that, you're just going to import both of these. If I can figure out where I placed them. Uh, yeah, right here. So you'll open up both of these now in Maya. Normally, whenever you import two different skeletal meshes, you create different namespaces. If you don't, then it automatically assumes that the skeleton that's already present uh, is supposed to be part of that skeleton. Uh, in this case, uh, that's what we want. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to merge the two skeletons, excluding the uh, duplicate bones. So it'll add the extra bones that uh, from one that the other one doesn't have. Um, it'll do this in any case, but in this case it actually helps us because it just automatically combines them for us the way that we want. Now after you've loaded this all in, you can select all these uh, these uh, shape keys right here and you can right click and go to hide and out outliner and go to hide uh, just on the shape keys You'll keep the rest of them here like this. Now I'll import the other one, which will be the head. Alright guys, so after you've uh, finished importing these, what you're going to do is you're going to expand these two uh, groups right here. Um, just select this one, uh, the head group, uh, control select to the body group, and control select the root. And then we're going to press Shift P uh, to ungroup those. And we're just going to delete those right there. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I did. So anyway, we're good. I am personally going to remove these LOD groups because of the way we're doing this. It breaks the uh, LOD setup there and it won't detect them as LOD groups. It'll just detect them as part of the mesh. So. After we've deleted that, everything should be good. Now we're just going to uh, select the root and shift select the rest of them. Then we're going to go into File, Game Exporter. These are the settings I used. Um, actually, I switched to this to FBX 2013. And I, I uh, changed this to Export Selection only. So it shouldn't include the blend shapes. You can uncheck those or check those if you want. It doesn't matter, uh, but I do not believe that it will include the blend shapes because we hid those. So after you've exported that, uh, your, file, your file size should be 
around 20 megabytes. You know, it should only be, you know, a few megabytes. If it's a, if it's a couple of gigabytes or if it's 30 gigabytes, uh, you might want to check your settings here. Make sure that you have export selection enabled and you only have these three selected. So after you've uh, exported it, you can open up a new scene in Cascader. You can go to Add FBX, Add Model, and we'll go ahead and import that. And it shouldn't take but a second. If you try to import something that's like 3 gigabytes or 30 gigabytes, you're going to be here all day. So, also you might get error, and it, it may not uh, let you import it. So, after we've done this, we can just go to rig mode. If uh, you find if you find that the head moves uh, or the arm sockets move a little funny, go back and look at the original. That's how they weighted those bones. So that's has nothing to do with the way that we did this. Uh, so if you if you see any issues with what bone weights, that's on Epic. That's that's the way they did it. So I think they used some kind of automated weighting method. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking that they use. So, anyway, we'll just select Quick Rigging Tool. It should automatically populate all of this for us. And then we'll just add rig elements. It'll take a minute. Now we'll generate rig. You'll see we still have all these facial bones. I didn't delete them. You can delete them if you want, uh, but I chose not to. Um, and now you should be able to move this stuff around. We should go into auto posing mode. So, yep, there we go, guys. Anyway, if you have any questions or uh, concerns or if you have any issues please feel free to leave them down in the comments to let me know what your problem is i may be able to help you uh, and i'll see you in the next video